Hey y'all, this is AL Thick Madame, and this is going to be a thoughts post. Unfortunately, I done got up on here instead of being asleep, but hopefully I won't be before you very long. Um, I wanted to talk about one thing in particular, but depending on how much time it takes me to get through this, um, I will present to y'all what I wanted to talk about yesterday as well, or whatever day it was that I did my last thoughts post. Um, but anyway, let's get into it because I, I just want to go ahead and get straight into it because y'all know how I can y'all know how I can go anyway so gospel singer Kiara Shear tells page six that when her girlfriends come to visit she makes them stay at a hotel to keep them away from her husband <sighs> my mama has already told me don't have too many people around your house I don't care how good you trust them or whatever it is I'm very mindful and careful I would buy a friend a hotel room before I let them stay in my house. She just married this man um, December 12th, 2020, okay? Am I supposed to let them into my home? Because we are, because we as believers, we believe that what we have, we are supposed to share with others. But I'm not sharing my man. Since I'm not sharing my man, I have to be cautious with everything else that I share as far as with him being there too. I think it's such a thing as boundaries. Some friends don't know that balance and can't understand the balance. <sighs> there were a lot of people who came into the comment section of various on various platforms trying to defend her and trying to say, well, she didn't say that. That's not what she said. And because that's what a lot of random people were saying, trying to back her up, uh, one of the places, Spiritual Word, specifically, came right behind that post and shared the video uh, interview that happened between her and whoever interviewed her. Um, the people at page six. So it's not as if these words were made up. They literally put it down exactly the way she said it. And it's giving trust issues. It's giving somebody been out here cheating or has expressed the want and need and desire to be with other people or something. Like something ain't right. Something in the milk ain't clean. I'm not understanding why this is the thought process. I don't care what your mama, aunt, or whoever else told you. I don't understand why you're living like that. I don't understand why you feel the need to live like that and to think like that. Um, first off, if you thinking like that about your friends, then them ain't your friends. I'm not finna never sit up here, me as a friend, as a real friend, and sit up here and be like, ooh, and be lusting after my friend's man. What? What is going on here? And... The fact that she thinks that a hotel room is going to stop the show. Oh, okay. Like, I'm like, are, are you, like, I'm not understanding. Like, is he never leaving the house? Because I could have swore it said he's a landscaper or something. What, what, what did it say he do? Could have swore it said he was a landscaper. What, what did it say? Yeah, landscaper. So I'm pretty sure he ain't just doing that job at y'all house. Pretty sure he ain't just doing that all around y'all's house. Um, He does have to leave the house at some point. Um, when you out here doing your shows, um, you can't be at his job at the same time that you at your job. You're not going to be able to be on him all day, every day. So I'm trying to understand how you think this going to work out. How you going to keep this from happening? Because like, I'm like, I'm, I'm trying to understand. I don't feel like there's a correlation Where's the correlation between you saying, all right, let me get a hotel room if my friend's going to come into town because I don't want to be near my man because I'm not going to share my man. Like, what? That don't make no sense. I'm sorry. It don't make no sense. If he ain't got no self-control, if he ain't got no willpower, just say that. And you probably shouldn't have never got with him if that's what's going on here because that ain't making no sense. If your man ain't got no willpower because your friends came around and they think he fine or they want to roll up and they won't and have been coveting your husband, that's issues that they got. 
and he got issues if he the one out here acting on stuff. If he ain't man enough to say, you know what, whether I'm slightly tempted or not, because they coming on to me and me and my wife just had an argument and they giving me the attention that I want in this moment. <laughs> like, it's like, that. that do y'all understand that there are so many situations that that happens in? There are guys who will literally get into a ignorant situation with the person that they're with, whether they're married to them, it's their fiance, or it's their girlfriend. They will literally get into a small spat, leave the house in a huff, and go out on the hunt. Why? Why? Because that's what they wanted to do to begin with. They wanted to be out here thotting and bopping. A lot of people like to be out here in these streets thotting and bopping. And you thought you was going to be able to save them. Some of these people really be out here thinking that because you lock somebody down with marriage papers, a marriage certificate and all that, that's going to change them. That ain't going to change nothing. That ain't going to change nothing as it pertains to cheating. If they want to cheat, they are going to cheat no matter who it is. I don't care if it's a man. I don't care if it's a woman. I don't care what they are. If a person wants to cheat, they are going to do it. They are going to find a way. I know people who don't have legs. Or they are immobile. And they have been out here fighting and bopping. They was out here cheating on people. Who are able to get up and walk around free and all of that. It's like, I don't understand. Anybody can get it. Anybody can get cheated on. That's what I'm trying to understand. Why that ain't registering in your mind. I don't understand. I don't understand. This ain't making no type of sense to me. If you got to do all of that, I feel like if you got to do that, if you got to sit up there and say, oh, you going to give me the passwords to all of your electronic devices and you got to call me as soon as you get to work, as soon as you do this, as soon as you do that. I had a coworker that at my last job, she had to talk to her husband right when she got to work. She had to talk to him on every single break. She had to, it was like clockwork. And I'm like, ma'am, you do know that some people are skilled enough to be cheating why are you on the phone? Ain't no fake. Whether it's FaceTime or not, they can be right there getting some slop on my knob, like corn on the cob and some mo. And you right there looking at them on FaceTime. That's why I didn't understand that Amazon story that where that man had to be on FaceTime, whether her, her boyfriend, fiance, husband, whatever he was to her at that time was working. Had it on FaceTime the entire time so she could see him. As if somebody couldn't have been up under the station that he was working at, polishing his knob. I, I, I don't understand. I don't understand. I feel like if you have to sit up there and say, you need to run me all of this. If you're on social media, I need to see who all your friends are. And I, you know, I, I need to do my own assessment of who these people are and if I feel this way about them, you need to be done with them. If you got to do all of these things, you don't need to be in a relationship. You need to go get help. You need to go work that out somewhere. You are not at a mental capacity where you can handle any type of situation dealing with love, relationships, or anything of that nature. I don't understand why this isn't something that is common knowledge. I feel like I feel like the problem is a lot of people are operating from where people were years upon years ago. People who were of my grandparents' age. A lot of people felt like, okay, he going to cheat. He doing all these other things, but now they're going to put a spin on it nowadays. Back in the day, a lot of these women stayed with these men. And I'm only saying men and, and, you know, I'm only saying it in this way because the person that we're talking about in this instance is a woman who doesn't want to basically uh, uh, put her husband in a situation where he could be tempted by her friends. Girl, you need new friends. You need a new husband. You need, it's just like, it's, no, 
your whole circle need to change. Everybody need to go, apparently. Like, that don't even make no sense at all. That makes absolutely no sense at all for you to sit up here and be like, oh, well, I'm going to have to get a room for my friends. My friends come in town. Because it's like, what? That's nice and all. But if you have that big, humongous house, like we all know all these people usually do, it's like, why would they have to? Now, I personally would not want to impede on anybody's privacy and their me time and all that stuff. So I probably would already have my own stuff set up anyway. But for you to say to yourself, mm, the way I was taught was that, you know, I, you know, no matter how much I trust these people, don't do it. Cause you know, it's like, what? Child, I, I can't, I cannot. That is crazy to me. That is ridiculous that she is operating in that way. Nobody should feel like that. Nobody should say, okay. Just to make sure he don't cheat, let me do this. And it's like, again, like I already said, that does not mean anything. A lot of these people back in the day were sitting up there, had a whole fences situation going on times 10. If you have not seen fences, I tell y'all that movie told my nerves all the way down to the ground. I, I, it's like I was living it. I just cannot. Like, mm-mm. Mm-mm. She was a good one because lies. These people really were sitting up here was had a whole husband, had the main heifer, the, the main wife. Then he was living a whole nother life on the other side of town, had kids everywhere. And then the wife, whether she knew about it or not, a lot of cases these women knew about it or found out about it, whether it was at the funeral or right before he died. And what did she do? Stay. A lot of times they knew these people was cheating, but they stayed. You know why? It was because the circumstances were way different than what they are now. A lot of these women didn't have jobs. And if they did, their money was not bringing in what their husband's money was bringing in. And if it was, and even surpassing it, they wanted the comfort of saying, I have a man. That's the, the main similarity in this, actually. That's the crazy part about it is a lot of these people are like, well, I have, a, I have the ring. I have the ring. I have a man. I, I have the ring. I have a man. But, but your man is trash, though. But your relationship is trash, though. I, I don't understand the fascination with people want to run around talking about, I'm married. I was married. Now I got a man. I had a man. And it's like, what's the point? If that same person has you insecure and on high alert and you over here losing sleep, stressing out, over here wondering, are they going to work? Are they doing all of these? Like, nobody should have to be on high alert like this. Just like with the woman who played Angela on all of these um, Tyler Perry TV shows and movies. For this heifer to be like, all right, his gas tank on this. So if he, if this much gas gone, then I know he must have stopped over Keisha house. And it don't take but this amount of time for you to leave the house and go down the street to the gas station. So if he don't be back by this time, you doing too much mathematical equations and all of this other foolishness to try to keep up with somebody. If you cannot say to yourself, I trust this person wholeheartedly. But if they do something, I'm going to be strong enough to leave. I'm going to try my best to find the will to leave. That, I, I can't. You know what I'm saying? I cannot. And you know what I'm saying? Like, usually, if you aren't strong, you, if you aren't strong enough, circumstances will happen and it will allow it to happen for you in another way for you to be released from them. Y'all, with my situation, I loved. I loved the person that I was with so much. That all of the literal hell that he was putting me through, I was like, you know what? I really kept trying to convince myself, okay, he going to change. He going to change. He going to realize. He going to realize what he has at home. Whatever, whatever. No. Just like anybody else, you could be doing any and everything going above and beyond. And they will still say, Ooh, look over there. I ain't had that. That looks interesting to me. Ooh, that's something I ain't never had before. Ooh, let me try that out. And if the person that they looking at and trying to bait into a situation decides to act upon it, whether they are aware that the person has 
a significant other or not, it's up to them. But at the same time, if they say, yeah, all right, I'm, I'm with it, that didn't gave them the inch that they needed. And now they're taking a mile. It just is what it is. Child, I just can't. What y'all think about this foolishness? Because I just, I just think it's ridiculous. I don't think people should sit up there and kill themselves to try to just say, I'm married. I'm with this person. I, I'm with them. You should not have to go through all these extreme measures to say that you're married and with somebody and to think that that is going to somehow save you from being cheated on. Didn't uh, T.D. Jakes' daughter just get divorced or is in the middle of getting divorced right now? Oh, okay, that's what I thought. But moving right along. So let's go on to the um, story that I wanted to talk about the other day. Okay, so I was talking to somebody the other day and we were discussing, well, basically they were, the, the best way I can put it is they were talking about how the bloodline is being diluted and that us black women aren't doing the things we need to do. And it was basically kind of, it was kind of like throwing shots at me because as I've already told y'all before, those of y'all who've been here, y'all know that I am single by choice. Okay. I have been put through the ringer. I'm tired of my spirit. If it is meant to be, it will happen. But at this present time, I am choosing me. I am choosing my happiness and I love the peace that I have. I have so much peace. I am so happy. I haven't been as happy as I am in this moment. That I haven't been this happy and I don't know when. You know what I'm saying? I can be myself. I don't have to worry about it. I ain't got to be like, oh my gosh. Ooh, I'm about to have a heart attack because I ain't check in. And basically, like with my, like this is just one of the many things that was going on in my relationship. I basically had, I, I not basically, I had to check in. To let him know that I made it home from work. And it wasn't like a security measure because I had stalkers. Because even when I was with him, I had stalkers. That wasn't what it was. Essentially, it was, oh, okay, she there. So, you know, when I'm out here with my side helpers and anybody else who I'm trying to be with, she ain't out in the streets. And she, she I don't run the risk of, you know, us crossing paths. But anyway, moving right along. Um, so basically, they were just like, um, the bloodline is being diluted black women aren't having aren't getting married and having babies with other black men and you know because in my mind I feel like love is love I would love to be with someone who is black like me you know what I'm saying but if that don't happen I mean I guess it is what it is but for me if I do end up with somebody I see it as somebody being black so Essentially, it got to the point where he was basically calling me out and trying to make it seem like women like me need to stop being like this and just having this sisterhood where, like for me, with my situation, with my friends, there are two friends that I talk to religiously every day. Um, we we communicate with, with one another, even if it's just saying, hey, how you doing? I hope you're doing all right or whatever. Just check in with one another. And, but with him, it's just a situation where I, I don't, in his mind, he thought that I didn't have any type of male friends that have interest in me or that I would personally have interest in if I was interested in actually dating or whatever. And I was like, no, I have male friends or whatever. And you know, that I talk to, but I'm not interested in a relationship. Anyway, I said all that to say this, he was trying to make it seem like because of women like me who have decided that they don't want to venture out there at this time or at all, that we are a part of the problem and we need to stop being like that and stop being selfish and all this other stuff. And and I'm like, okay, you mainly you trying to make it seem like the bloodline is being diluted. So if you feel like the bloodline is being diluted, you ain't got no kids out here, go shoot up the club of somebody who wants to have kids i am on my last leg my my last egg could drop this month i'm playing the waiting game right now i'm just saying so i don't want anybody to ever depend on me to have a child but i'm just saying for the ones that do want to have kids if that's what you feel like it need to be go have kids with somebody then but he was like no they need to be married whatever 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 i'm like okay um everybody don't want to be married so what do you say to that and I'm just like, it was just so much, but the gist of it is another thing that he said that triggered me was that he was trying to make it seem like we, the black women, we need to respect 
all black men. And I'm just like, mm, no, 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 we don't need to respect all black men. <laughs> we don't need, need to respect all black men because all black men are not doing what they need to do. All black men are not being the leaders that they should be in order to have any type of a title worth mentioning and for anybody to have the foresight to be like, oh, okay. And to just see that this is a great representation of what a great man is supposed to be. You're not giving any shiny examples. And then I was telling him about how there are so many examples right now that's just happening over and oh, it's literally like it is cut and paste. It's so sad. It's literally every time I look up. Some black man sat up here and shot up and killed his wife, girlfriend, baby mama, whatever, and the children. And I'm just like, what? why? What is going on? What is going on? And I mean, a lot of these people don't be with the folks no more. And they're just like, oh, let me just kill you. I'm just like, oh, it's just too much foolishness going on. It is too much foolishness going on for you to tell me that I need to respect all black men. That is not the case. I respect the handful of them that's doing what they're supposed to do. But I'm not going to say, yeah, I respect all black men, all because they black. And that's that, that was pretty much what he was trying to say. And I'm like, that's not the way this go. I'm not going to off rip just say, I respect all black men just because you black. That is not how this goes. Um, I can't do it. I can't do it. And the thing is... I'm not trying to add to the statistics, excuse me, the statistics that are out here already of people who get with whoever they get with. You think it's a great situation. The other person already had plans in their mind. A lot of these people have plans in their mind. What they're going to do? They'll sit up here and spit this game to you, make you think that they're going to be your everything. I want you to have my baby. Do you know how many people have said that to me? To this day, it was this dude. Every... Every six months faithfully, this man will reach out to me and say to me, I want you to have my baby. And I was like, sir, I'm not interested. I'm not having kids. I'm not with you. We aren't dating. I don't even want to go on dates with you. And it wasn't trying me trying to be mean. At the time I was in college and I was just trying to be focused on school. And he was just like, your hips were made to give birth to my children all this other stuff. And I was just like, sir, I don't know where you got that from, but that ain't got nothing to do with me. Don't know what you're talking about. And I mean, I've had other people to really tell me like, you, I really want you to have my baby. Why do you think that that's a compliment? That's not a compliment. I'm not trying to sit up here and be another statistic. For me, if I'm going to sit up here and give up my womb, if you will, and go through probably even worse than what I go through on a monthly, sometimes twice a month basis for pregnancy. And I don't even know if I would even be able to carry well. It's too much. It would be too much turmoil on me to go through that. Only for that person to leave me and try me. Because what if I had gotten pregnant by my ex? What if we hadn't had kids together? What if? That would have been a mess. Because the way he turned on me all the way at the end of the relationship, I never would have thought. I, when I tell you, I would have never thought that our relationship would have ended up the way it went. It, it, I felt like I was talking to a completely different person. I, I was just like, I don't even know who this person is. People really will switch up in a way that will make you be like, and hey, who is that? Y'all, I, mm-mm. Mm-mm. It's a lot. It's a whole lot. And my thing is, I'm not going to just respect a black man just because he's black. And I understand the struggles and things that a lot of black men go through, but we black women go through just as many, if not more. The fact of the matter is, there are so many different things that we fight for y'all over and put ourselves on the front lines for. Because we're fighting for y'all. I, I hate when people try to make it seem like we don't respect y'all and all this other stuff. We do. We go above and beyond for y'all. 
We go up for y'all, but most of the time y'all don't go up for us. Anyway, that's the end of the commentary. Hopefully y'all enjoyed this video. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you're not done so. Let's get down in the comment section and discuss this foolishness. Bye, y'all.